Peggy 3. Hi pilot, and welcome to Dakar 18. On this tutorial, we are going to train the basic elements so you can begin our rally raid. The objective in the Dakar rally is to find and validate all the waypoints in our route before crossing the finish line in the shortest time possible. Every time one of these lights turns on, it means you successfully validated the waypoint, and you should proceed to the next one. It's not mandatory to validate waypoints sequentially, as long as you get them. Not all of them are mandatory, but if you reach the finish line with some waypoints which weren't validated, you will suffer penalties that can lead to disqualification. There are several types of waypoints. Most of them are not visible and are only detectable by the navigation GPS provided by the rally's organization. It's through the validation of each waypoint that you will be able to discover the stage's route. This allows you to finish each step successfully, avoiding penalties, disqualifications, or even worse, getting lost. In the lower right corner, you will find the roadbook. The roadbook is the key navigation element in Dakar 18. It describes all the necessary information to navigate between each waypoint. Centered at the top of the screen, and always visible, you have the representation of the kilometer and cap heading repeaters. Whenever you reach the validation radius of a waypoint, it will be verified as valid. When you get to a waypoint location, as indicated in the tulip, the roadbook note will be considered as passed. If the waypoint is not WPC or waypoint control, an arrow will appear between the repeaters. You should follow the direction of the arrow to the waypoint location and validate it. When in rookie difficulty mode, an extra indicator is added, but only when we're on off track. You should keep the indicator centered because it points you to the location of the next waypoint. This is just a helper for rookies and it isn't used by real rally competitors. On the left side, we have the waypoint index that represents all the existing waypoints in a stage and their respective number. The waypoint number is always corresponding to the roadbook's note number. When a waypoint is validated, the corresponding cell changes to green, and in the case of PCs, or passage controls, it changes to yellow. Every waypoint has a validation radius. Remember that the validation of waypoints is mandatory to avoid penalties. Each note in the roadbook is divided in three columns, total and partial kilometers, tulip, and warnings. Roadbook notes are read from left to right. At 18 kilometers, go straight ahead on cap, heading 332, after the palm tree. Attention, danger three, over the dunes. After reading the note, you have to focus on the kilometer and cap heading repeater. Do not miss the reference to the indication of the tulip, which will take you to the next waypoint. If you choose a vehicle category with navigator, I'll be at your side to tell you the way. But if you choose to ride a bike or a quad, you will be alone and on your own. Okay, let's begin our training then. 